hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so i'm happy to announce that i'm starting a brand new series on llm so this series is mainly focused on building a llm app with front end which will be based out of rack system right so we will the end product will finally look like it will have an end uh, endpoint or uh, ui so using that ui user can ask questions based on the data that is available on drag and the llm is expected to return uh, the output in the in the ui itself right so with this we will uh, talk a few of the different things that are uh, that i have used to build this app but let's first look at the end product how it looks like right so first of all i will try to uh, activate the environment which i have created uh, for this particular project so once i activate that then i will run python 3 main.py so that will actually run the uh, the starting point of this application and which will uh, launch a gradio app using a first a fast api right so once i run this it will try to launch this app which is currently available at this location so i will uh, copy this location and i will try to launch that app using uh, a browser right so this is how the app looks like so currently this app is supporting a rag application the, so the rag rag database or the retrieval augmented generation has a backend database so that database or the vector db currently stores a few of the pdfs which are related to the uh, papers that are related to large language model right so first of all let me ask a question what is llama 2 because I know that uh, one of the paper is about Lama 2. So I will uh, write that question and I will submit that to get the answer for this particular question. Right. So in this way, you can interact with this uh, RAG app and you can interact with the PDFs that are available in the uh, vector database and ask questions and get back the corresponding answer. Yeah, so this is kind of taking a bit of long. So what we can do is once we go through each of this uh, part of this application, we can also try to integrate how uh, streaming can work. So we can like stream part of the uh, tokens that are present on this big answer that is came up on this question. And we will that will kind of give us a better user experience if you enable the streaming part, right? Now let's ask another question. What is a PSD? students perspective on LLM right so that is another question which I will uh, try to ask to this LLM app so using this Gradio it will actually fire a question using the LLM uh, to the uh, vector database and the vector database will give the context for this particular question and then it will try to answer uh, this particular question with the information that are available in the uh, vector database right so this is quite actually a uh, quite uh, interesting answer which you can see so i will ask you to just read through this i will not read this so you can like pause the video and read this answer like what is a phd student's perspective on llm and this is how the uh, the end application looks like right so uh, I will. I just wanted to give you another brief overview of what we will go through in in this uh, particular uh, YouTube playlist series. So we have. Uh, so my plan is to go through like how to create a virtual environment and manage the dependencies. Then we will talk about what is a .env file and how to le le load the secrets from the .env file. Then how to configure a LLM. Uh, from local folder and also using a together API right so if you don't want to use the together API you can go ahead and use a, a Mistral model which you can place it in a, a local folder but that will take a lot of time to fetch the answer so using together API which I showed you the demo that is using the together API then we will talk about how to modularize uh, your code and create a vector database using that modularized code then i will talk about what is fast api and what are the benefits of using fast api how pydentic validation you can add into the uh, fast api then we will talk about what is gradio how you can create uis with gradio and in the end we will combine each of these components and we will try to create a fully functional llm app which i showed in the uh, demo 
right so i hope you got an initial understanding what we will be covering in this whole series and hope i hope you are quite excited along with me so yeah this is all i wanted to cover in the first video so uh, yeah with this i will end this video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe and i will i will see you in the next video of this uh, playlist series thank you see you in the next video